What's going on everybody? Hey, um, I'm doing a really last minute video. I thought I was gonna have more time to prepare for this video, but I'm not. Um, so I just finished watching Doug Demure's video uh, when he did his road trip in his brand new Defender and grabbed a couple bullet points and I'm going to use that as an inspiration to talk about my upcoming trip from Canada to Mexico. How's it going everybody? My name is Emeka. This is Driven Hard. If you're brand new to this channel, nice to meet you. Um, I am about to go on a 10,000 kilometer road trip in my out of factory warranty Range Rover. Now, am I crazy? Who knows? I do have an extended warranty, so I'm not too, too concerned. But I want to talk about where I'm going, why I'm driving, not flying, what we're going to be seeing, and a couple other quick things here. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. So currently I am in Vancouver, BC. We leave tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. And uh, we are driving all the way down from, you see Vancouver right here, all the way down to Monterrey, Mexico, and then over to Mazatlan, Mexico. And I am doing it all in my baby. And uh, I am just absolutely stoked because, hey, what better way to spend the next six days than driving across the United States and across part of Mexico in your dream car, right? So I'm stoked. Um, so how many kilometers from Vancouver to Monterey, we're looking at, or from Vancouver to Monterey and then to Mazatlan, it is gonna be 5,325 kilometers or about 3,300 miles for you American folks. And, um, it's just under 5,000 kilometers from Vancouver to Monterey, which I'll be doing on the way back. So this whole trip, this whole trip is gonna be about 10,000 kilometers or 6,200 miles. That is absolutely awesome. We're gonna be going down to Portland to do some no tax shopping. So that's our first step stop tomorrow afternoon. And then we cut east and we hit up Twin Falls, um, Twin Falls, Idaho. And uh, we stay there for a night and then we go south down to Bluff, Bluff, where's Bluff? Bluff, Utah, Bluff, Utah. And then we keep cutting across all the way to, that's gonna be a big, big trek from Bluff to Lubbock, Texas. Um, that is, I think, one of the longest days that we're gonna have. It's something like about 11, 12 hours or so, um, weather permitting, of course. And uh, then from Lubbock all the way down to McAllen, Texas, uh, that's going to be another massive day. Um, and then from McAllen, we, um, I'll talk about what we're doing in McAllen in a second. And then McAllen to Monterey is only a couple hours. And then we're in Monterey for a couple of days. Uh, and then with her family, we are grabbing another vehicle, um, the Range Rover and another one. And then we are all driving in unison over to Mazatlan. And one of the things I'm super excited about is... Uh, I can't remember, it's like the, the Devil's Highway, I think is the English translation. It's absolutely insane. I'll, I'll put some info up on the screen so you can check it out, but I'm so stoked to get some amazing footage uh, and test out uh, that highway there. So why drive and not fly? Well, one, um, really, do I have to answer that? Because you can drive your dream car for days and just see more stuff and and like yeah it's just so much better um yeah i just i love road trips i've done this before i've done it in my mazda my 2006 mazda 6 i did it it had about 270,000 kilometers on it i drove that all the way same basically same route uh that was absolutely insane and then when i bought the ring tour sport uh, in 2019, uh, put, put a couple thousand miles on it in the beginning, in the first week and two, and then drove it all the way down to Mexico. And we're doing that again. And then we'll drive all the way back. And it's just, we love road trips. The family loves road trips. And uh, I think it's just a phenomenal way to spend a few days with your, with your loved ones on the road and it's just having fun. Um, plus we get to do it in winter. Now we are in a La Nina year. So winter across, the States is being really, really non-existent. So it looks like we're actually gonna have nothing but sun pretty much the entire trip, unless some serious weather pops up that is not in the forecast for the next seven to 10 days. Um, that's okay. On the way back, they are calling, we're going down to Mexico for about two months, 
just under two months. On the way back, it should be full out winter. We are looking at going to uh, nice winter chalets um, on the way back to get some good taste of winter because I love the snow, don't want to miss it. We've been getting nothing but rain in Vancouver and now literally the night we leave, they're forecasting wet snow. I'm like, are you kidding me? But it's all good. Um, what have I done to prepare in, in things? So, well, when I cleaned it, right? You gotta have a clean car for a road trip, right? You got it. Um, but no, so I've installed the roof rack, this Rhino Rack roof rack. I do have an install video on the channel from the first time I did that. So installed that. And then I got my Land Rover branded thing that the dealership gave me um, that we have a whole bunch of stuff in um, and whatnot. And then we're just, you know, info things on the back of the seats to keep the kid kiddos entertained. Uh, so yeah, so that's it. I did an oil change at 80,000 80, kilometers. I'm currently at 8,400 kilometers. And so between now and McAllen, Texas, I'll put another 4,900 or so, 4,800 or so on there. And uh, I do my oil changes every 10,000 kilometers. And so I have an appointment booked for next Wednesday, I believe it is. Uh, when we arrive in McAllen at the San Juan dealership down there in San Juan. And um, I'll be doing a full oil change and they'll just do a full inspection and everything. The reason I booked it out of the dealer is because I just, you know, they just do the full inspection and, and everything. I've also worked with them uh, quite a, a few times before when I was living down in Mexico. Um, and uh, they're just great. So, um, yeah, so that'll be good. Um, other than that, I just topped up the windshield fluid and just double checked everything. I had it over at Tesps Automotive uh, uh, and Al gave me, it was like, yeah, bro, you're good, man. You're good. Everything's good. Um, so yeah, like I'm, ex I'm stoked. This is going to be great. We just got to finish packing and, um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Now we are going to see a couple, well, honestly, we're only going to have time to see one thing, the Four Corners Monument down in, well, near bluff i believe near bluff so we're gonna see that that's the only thing we just want to get down there as fast as possible right now because when we haven't seen our parents in and our family um in like a year and a half and that's absolutely insane so we really want to go see her family and uh, hang out with them um but on our way back we're gonna go and check out different things along the way um and that's gonna be more of a uh hey sightseeing so to speak road trip where this is just Let's just haul and get down there. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna have a lot going on on Instagram over the next week. It's gonna take about six days or so, uh, driving at a decent pace. I can't really push it because I got this stupid thing, so it limits my speed to about 100 and, about 90 miles an hour. I can't remember, I think that's about 160 kilometers an hour. So I was doing about 160, 90 miles an hour um, on the way up with it, and that's kind of like the, the max speed. I kind of ch keep checking. Basically, every time I go for gas, I just check these to make sure they're they're tightened and retorque them a little bit. And you know, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Let me know in your in 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 the comments what your favorite road trip has been. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of get this quick video here just done and up on the channel, so you guys are up to date with what's going on. But. Uh, I'm stoked. There's uh, so much stuff in Mexico. I cannot wait to, to get together with some of the, the, uh, my friends down there and, and film some car stuff. And oh, it's going to be awesome, guys. I cannot wait for this. So till next time, everybody, I'm Emeka. Let me know what you are driving hard. Yeah.